Hello, we are back with our computer build, and we're close to done, I think. Big shout out to Bone Nugget. He's been making some uh, mentions on me uh, on his page or his channel and his videos. I'd like to just say I appreciate it. I'm mentioning our game, he's been mentioning my Blender series. Just uh, like to say thanks. If you guys haven't, check out Bone Nugget's channel. He does a couple good uh, territorials. Right. Alright, so if you notice my stuff's a little different than yours, I just colored a few things. You can go ahead and pause it and color them too if you like, but I just thought it'd make it easier for us to see what we're kind of aiming for and make it just uh, that much easier to get it finished. So last we left off, I think we were going to make a shroud for this uh, computer's uh, GPU. So let's rock that real quick. So that should probably cover it well. No, I'm just kidding. We'll fix that up. I'll just put a big block over it. It's fine. Now obviously, we'll mimic the shape as best as we can to start off. And don't cover the green part because that's going to be like a microchip type thing. So we don't want to mess with that. Something like this. <laughs> okay. And a few different ways we can do this. Obviously, there's a lot of running parts underneath of this, so we need certain things to be sticking out. And we need to be able to see other things, and we need parts of the shroud to be hollowed out. But let's just keep getting the shape a little better. If I can give you guys a good example. Right. Something like this. You get the idea. So, what we're going to do, shift D. And grab both of them. Take one, move it down slightly, maybe a little more up. Just want that. Mm. That was an accident there. Okay. So I got the second one in a good spot. So just grabbing the second one, let's shrink it down a little bit. Make sure you don't shrink it to the point that it comes through. Just want kind of like that, but we want to leave an inner lip probably. Stretch this just a hair. Before we do, let's just give this a little bit of shape on the top one. Make sure you got the top one. Into edit mode. Let's just go ahead and grab probably this edge here, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. This edge, probably anyways, I don't know for sure. I did not practice. Okay, so that's... What we're going to have to do is add some bevels for the corners anyways. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit more. We'll do four. <laughs> right, looks pretty good I think. So let's just bump this up. Should I have a flat bottom because we want it to connect to the other piece? Let's just delete this one for now. Redo it a little bit different. Uh, shift D again because now we want the shape that it takes out to be more like the shape that we're using here so let's get pretty close where you can see what you're doing bring it down a little bit S make sure it's in a good position everywhere around that's what you want and then we'll, we'll bool it out of that one Okay. pretty good now we have a hollow space perfect should fit basically all our components. We're going to have to make a spot here. So let's just bump this up to the top where we can kind of get the shape right. Shift A. We'll have to make a couple shapes to knock out the shape behind it of. And it's going to take a little bit, but we want to make it right. We want to make it look good if you're going to be using it in a game. You can always add more bevels if you're trying to make it look more high tech, that type thing. But, um, I'm just going to be careful with that because we are making some super complex things and they're all intertwined and they have all got their edges and their own bevels and such so just make that a little longer for it fits over top when we're done here like that something like that so we just need to mimic the shape of the piece behind this okay 
like that. Gotta make sure we're taller, like that. Okay, something like that, anyways. And then move it up under this piece, Get close to the edge, but don't leave a lip there if you can. Um, we might have to switch to this view just for a second. All right, should be good. Object bool difference. Okay. And we can switch back now. Oh, that was kind of nice, though. And just make sure it fits. Okay. I think that's pretty good. And we're on our way to making a nice shroud, as you guys can see. So next, we got to do the fans. I'll switch back to color mode, and then I'm gonna give this a color. Um, I don't know what color these typically are, but. Let's go just give it a color for it's just a little easier to see. I'm having trouble spotting the edges. And I could go the other mode, but I prefer seeing the colors for the look. Uh, what color should this be? Like that. Here, let's make it that color just to give it its own color. <laughs> go ahead and shift A. I don't know. Add edit mode first. Shift A. Oh. And we'll go ahead and make a cylinder. And thank you guys for subscribing. There's somebody subscribing in the middle of the video. <laughs> make sure you hit like. Make sure you guys subscribe because we're always doing something fun over over here. And remember, I got a game too. A lot of people are really enjoying it. It's on Steam right now. It's pretty cheap. Pretty fun. I think it's well worth the money it's, we, we charge for it. So check it out if you want. And if you want to wait you can put it on your wish list and if you don't want to that's fine too I just thought I'd mention it and if you did subscribe when I told you to thank you we appreciate your support alright so something like that it doesn't have to be perfect it could be a little smaller it could be a little bigger the point is we just want to be able to see the fans kind of coming through I want to move that one down and just make sure it's in place. I think it is. So I'll just do them too, and we'll bool it from this. And difference, okay? Now, I would say we have a pretty handsome little shroud for our uh, GPU, don't we? Something like that. See a little gap in there, and that's perfect. That's just what we want. Looks pretty dang good. I don't know if you guys want to do it a different way. I thought I'd show you this way, anyways, but. Let's grab these two screws. Let's drag them on over. Maybe we'll just take one, actually. We'll take one and we'll repeat it. It's a little easier. And I always keep the screws just sitting off to the side for I can shrink them and grow them. Just remember to keep them with your parts for later when you're going to want to connect them again, right? Let's see what happens here. So that's the opposite of what we need. We're going to go this way. Okay. And then we just got to make sure that it goes into the shroud. Or maybe you guys want to come through the top and go down. That's perfectly fine too. Just make sure you don't hit anything basically. So maybe we'll do this actually. Maybe we'll go through here and we'll put two down the middle just for an example of how you could do it. Oh uh, yeah. Hmm. Nothing. Just just checking some stuff here. Don't worry about me, guys. <laughs> okay, that's right. Apparently it was zero. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Uh, you probably heard Queen Queen uh, Fish there snickering at me in the background. Maybe she's snickering at something else. But <laughs> we have a good laugh when I mess up during these. Um. Make sure that you're into the one underneath. Maybe you want to grow the whole thing a little bit like that. Maybe you want to inset it a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. So let's shift D it. We'll bump it over here and we'll get both. We'll copy. Let's try taking them. 
Actually, let's grab both of them again and just drag them just a little lower. And let's try booling them from the shroud and seeing if what we get here. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Give us a little edge in there. Yeah, it did. Perfect. See that? So now we can sink them a little farther down. Like that. That's like that. All right. Perfect. Maybe you want to make them flatter. There we go. That's a little more of a screw shape. Okay. Looks really good. It's inset right in there. I think that's pretty perfect. Hopefully that's what you guys were looking for in this. And and then you're pretty happy with the final design, I think. So we'll control J the whole thing, right? And if you're happy and this is what you wanted and everything's colored perfectly now, let's slide it on in. And I want to make a funny joke right now, but I will not say it. We'll shift D again, queen sniffer, snickering. Uh, make sure that's centered in this one. And you might need to make a little more space in between them, but I think that's about right there. Now we just need to do powers into our, uh, our GPUs. We need to power up our CPU. And we need some RAM. Can we do RAM real quick? Maybe we'll do RAM real quick and then we'll go. Shift A. I'll just drag these videos on and then you guys won't want to watch them because they're too long. That's what I like to do. Sabotage. That's the wrong way. Uh, something like that. Shrink her down. Right. Looking good. Obviously, we've got to adjust it a bit more, but let's just get in a little closer for we can see what we're doing. I might want to flip back to the other mode briefly. Try to center it as best as you can. Nope. Okay, something like that. Okay. Just trying to shrink it just a little bit just to give it a slight gap for it just stands out just a hair more. Okay. I'll do the same here. Just go a slight bit less. Okay. And then we're going to shift D. <laughs> we know that one's pretty much sized, right? So this one, we're going to make a little bit bigger. Because we need it to look like there's a little bit of a handle on it. Just makes it easier to pull out, basically. <laughs> and there we go. Something like that. Maybe a little bit more. Just be careful because we don't want to bump the ons on the other side when we're putting them in and out. Apparently we only got three. I should have made four. I don't know what I did there. And probably just grab the whole thing and control oh, to ta edit mode. Grab the whole thing with A and then control B. Just slightly taper it like that. You can add some more segments if you like if you want to try to make it a little more smoother. It's gonna do for me. I don't need it to be absolutely perfect, but just want it to look a certain way. Okay, so what is this? We have a slight issue, it's not thick enough. Something like that. Okay. I think that looks good to me. If it looks good to you, let's go ahead a little farther. So don't want it to do too much to this yet. Let's go to control R. And we'll roll this around until you're happy with the teeth size that you're going to use for your RAM. Okay. Move it around a bit. Push right click. It'll center it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now we will go to faces. And we will click every second face. And I don't know if I put an even amount of cuts, but hopefully it'll look all right. Maybe I should have counted them. Hired one, I'm giving an example because I want to be quick showing you guys and not take all your time, but it's hard sometimes if I don't take the time to do those things. OK, 
okay, something like this. Hopefully it works out, just every second one. Okay. And it looked like it did. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and color that now. And then we'll attach them after. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. So we'll do plus new. This will be the background color. So maybe you want it to be a different color. Maybe you want it to be classic green. Computer board color. Something like that. Okay. And then the second color you do. Go to new. And it'll do the ones we highlighted. So we're going to do like a goldy color here. Alright. And you can do the little cap parts if you want just got to figure out which ones it is and you can look at this view to be able to tell oops if you click the wrong one just click it again to unclick it it's no big deal take your time pause the video if you need to want to add more detail or do something else that's fine remember to always do you and make things your own don't just copy me because you know just giving you an example mostly you want to put probably a little bit more detail in your stuff all right we'll just make this a color and uh, or we could join them now I think right so let's grab let's grab this and then that and we'll join it to this for we can move it by the outer piece and we just need to add one more color pick out what it is I'm gonna make mine blue okay am I in the right mode no in edit so then I'm going to click off everything, just push L just over that one piece, and assign it. Okay. Now we have our RAM. I thought I'd finish that up before I go. You guys are always uh, probably getting sick of coming back all the time, so I'm trying to get as much as I can done. We're getting pretty close to the end. So just keep being a little more patient. We'll get there. Um, make sure you're subscribed. Like I said, it helps. It makes me want to make more videos, I suppose when I know more people are watching. Okay. So maybe we want to do uh, one more of these all together. So let's just do this. Let's copy them both and shift D. And we'll just slide it over. I don't know how I did up to three, but you get the idea. Let's just move that back a little bit. Try and get the same gap between them, right? Okay, so in this episode we built our shroud, we duplicated our GPU, making it its own unit, we did our RAM, we'll come back and we'll, we'll do probably a couple of just circuits on the board, and I think we need to do the opposite sides of our power connectors, and that's probably going to be a, uh, just running power cables to the power controller, and we're done I think guys. Um, be easy enough to make these into uh, the opposite shape. You might have to go into edit mode. Highlight the piece you want. Oops, you get the idea though. With L and then Shift D to duplicate. Okay. And then pull that shape out that you're going to want to take out of your piece that you're talking about. The other side of the connector. And we're just going to want to hit P here. Selection. It's its own piece now. Okay, so now we can just minus it out. We can boolean it out of another shape. I'm going to leave that there for the next video. If you want to wait for me because you don't want to mess up, that's perfectly fine. If you want to go ahead, that's perfectly fine. Hope you guys had a lot of fun, and I hope everything's looking really good on your end too. I really like the look of this. Let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time.